Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little shop. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take the pieces that I have here. You can find the measurements and all on my website. I'll list them there. And then you're going to want to pre-drill some holes to start attaching them. The very first thing you want to do is take your bottom piece and then your side piece along with your bottom back. The bottom back is going to go like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pre-drill some holes right along here and then screw it in there. Okay, so what I've done is I've stood it up like this. I've pre-drilled one hole here. Now I'm going to remove my drill bit from my drill gun and then I'm going to put a bit on there that fits my screws. Once I have that in there, then I'm going to attach one screw to just help hold it for me. I'm just going to go right in the same exact hole. If your wood is soft enough, you won't need to countersink, but if it's not, you're going to need to countersink. Now I'm going to do two more right along there and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to take the bottom side and you're going to pre-drill two holes here and here again. Then just line a bead of glue right along this edge. All right, so make sure it's even here and even here. All right, once you get at least one screw in there, you want to turn it up and you want to do the same thing here to even it out. just like that and get this edge even and then you're going to put a screw right in here. Okay so at this point you should have three parts together and then this is the top back. You want to just kind of rest it even here and then you want to mark where the edge of that is here so you know where to put your insides. So what I've done is I've taken the two cut pieces here and I'm going to glue them up against this. One here and then one will go here. Now, if it's not gluing, because maybe your board's warped or whatever, just add one or two screws to it. Once you put it there, make sure that you use a square to square it up to make sure that it is actually indeed square. You don't want to have a crooked wall, that's for sure. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and put that one there. I'm going to transfer my line using my square against the back straight across. That way I know where I'm going to put the other side. Okay? So this piece here will go here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and a little bit of glue on the side here and I'll be right back. Alright, one more thing. You can add this optional piece in right here which is going to create the doorway. You do not have to do that. You're going to put a little bit of glue on there and you're going to want to put a clamp to hold it until it dries. Okay, so it should look kind of like that. And now you want to attach the front pieces. The bottom front should be a little bit thicker than the top. You're going to apply some glue here, here, and across the bottom for this part. I'm just using some Elmer's Wood Glue Max. Gonna just kind of feather that out a little bit there. It's okay if it comes out along the side edge, but you don't want it to come out all over the um, floor you don't have to, so it's more you'll have to clean up. Okay, so now at this point, your wall that you just created with the doorway should be even right along this edge with this. Should be completely even. You shouldn't have any issues with that. Okay, so you want to go ahead and let that dry. There's no need to put a screw in that unless it's warped. If it's not warped, then you should not have to worry about putting a screw in it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and attach the top 
with some clamps as soon as that's dry and that's going to go right there. And I'll be right back. Okay, at this point you have all of that on. Now you want to take the top bottom, which is the middle, and then you want to glue it right to the top of here. You should make sure that it's even with the back and all sides, just so that it's not crooked. Now this plywood is a little thicker than I would use if I was doing this again, but this was a piece of scrap. So I just wanted to use it to have it so it's not wasted. If you want to do this, I would definitely do it out of thinner stuff. However, this will last forever, so if a child's playing with it, you know, it's not going to break. <laughs> or it shouldn't anyway. Okay, so now you have your back, and then you have your sides. So you're going to apply this here, the same as we did the bottom frame, and then this piece we're going to go ahead and cut for right here, and I'll be back. Okay, so at this point you should have another little piece that looks like this, and what you're going to do is you're going to glue it here. However, if you feel safer, before you glue this piece down, you can screw it to the base of this the same way. However, because this is not really going to be played with. I'm just doing it like this. I'm going to apply some glue right along the edge on the entire bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it right here. Make sure you line it up even with the back and even with the side. I would let it cure completely before you try to do any other parts of this project. Otherwise, you will end up with a crooked project. Now, if you went ahead and glued your bottom base down on the middle, Prior to this and you wanted to make sure you had it a little bit more secure you can always toenail some nails into it if you want to but I don't think it's really going to be necessary because I think that glue is going to hold it pretty sturdy or at least for the purpose that I'm using it for it will. All right, remove any excess glue with a popsicle stick or scrap piece of wood in the areas that you can't get in just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish working on that one piece, and I'll be back. Okay, before we install this piece, we need to take this piece here, which is on the front, top, bottom, and we need to install it right here. I applied some glue right along there and across the bottom of it. And now I'm making it even with the front wall and the side wall. Removing any excess glue. just like that. And now for this piece, what we'll have to do is we'll have to glue this here. But before we can glue it here, we're going to have to pre-drill a hole right here to help support this. Okay, so once you have this screwed in here, now it's time to create the top piece for here. Okay, so now I have that cut. What I need to do is take these two small side pieces and I need to glue them here. You want to make sure that it's even with the wall and even with the bottom. Right like that. Now for this piece here, you're going to put some glue on here, right along that top, and then you're going to put some glue on the bottom. Make 
make sure that it's not runny like that because that will create a disaster mess. Okay, now the right side should be shorter. All right, so the leftover glue that drips down, you're gonna put right up in here or you can just put glue on there ahead of time. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Just like that. Then you wanna go ahead and put some glue right along this edge and then right on top of that. Get it nice and coated, because remember we're not doing screws on this or nails, we're just using glue. So now we're gonna take our front top piece here and attach it right there. Now at this point you need to make sure you bring this forward to where it's even with the front and bring this side over here to where it's even. This side, oh, without knocking it over, this side on the left should automatically be even if you cut everything exact. However, if you didn't, you can always fill it in with some wood filler or cover it with paper. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so that should be framed in just like that, even right around there. Press it down. Make sure the edges are all nice and snug. Okay, now the bottom, we're gonna go back to that now. That should be pretty much dry enough to remove the tape. And we're gonna attach the two little panels to that. All right, so. You should have two smaller pieces here. They're almost the same size as this. They're just slightly different, just a little bit more um, in depth. Okay, so hopefully you can see this a little bit clearer now that we're all the way at the bottom. You're gonna put a little bit of glue on the top, on the bottom, and along the right edge on the left side, or the left edge for the left side. it around there and then you are just going to fit that right in there it should be a very snug fit so some of your glue is going to come off that's why we just did all the sides on that now you can put this in first before you put this in if you want that's completely up to you um, you can do it like we did that one but because of how I put it together and wanted to attach the top side walls I saved it to last it it will probably actually be easier if you did it first but either way it can be done all right and then you're gonna do the same thing for this side okay so now that we have both front pieces on I went ahead and put some extra glue in here because it had a crack in the wood rather than using wood filler um, at this point you can add your roof or you can do your wallpaper and stuff so it's a little bit easier to get in there. Now when you're adding your roof, you're just going to glue it on top of there, the same as we glued this on top of here. So that's all you'll need to do, but I'm going to leave it off just so I can mess with the um, interior a little bit, and then we'll go to the next step after I'm done with doing this, because we've got to make the frame that goes around here, and then we're going to have to make the exterior. However, I'm gonna snag my dad for some of that because he's a little bit more creative in that area than I am. So um, stay tuned and we'll be back. 